When I originally took over as barracks manager, there were several rooms where Marines couldn't use the restroom at all. Their bathrooms or toilets or their bases were cracked. There were sinks where the basins were actually broken out. When I saw the conditions, when I first took over, I was infuriated. Over the course of the last year, I uh, repaired over 600 discrepancies within my barracks for 198 rooms and three tenant commands. Part of the Marine Corps is being an ambassador to Japan, uh, especially being stationed in Okinawa. We're held to a different standard. We're expected to do well. One issue that was recognized by the command were alcohol-related incidents, uh, in particular amongst junior Marines and NCOs. We have plenty of classes on how to drink responsibly. What we found is that there were no programs that were occurring from 10 p.m. at night to 03 in the morning, and that those were our prime hours where Marines were getting in trouble. The Marine Air Control Group 18 commanding officer decided to put together a team that would go about reducing these alcohol-related incidents aboard Marine Corps Air Station Fatenma. We came up with the idea of serving breakfast at the USO between the hours of 2200 and 03. We weren't saying you can't drink. That's probably a losing battle. We know you're drinking, but we're gonna provide a safe place for you to end your night. Come through, sober up a little bit with us, and then we'll get you back to your barracks. Waking Up Fatima has been really successful. On our Friday and Saturday nights here on Fatima, we have managed to reduce our alcohol-related incidences by 45%. Stern Thompson's deserving to be Marine of the Year because of the investment he makes in every single Marine every single day. My name is Sergeant Taryn Thompson. I'm in the United States Marine Corps, and I've been in the Marine Corps for seven years.